friends, Julie here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you four Dollar Tree DIYs and these are egg themed. So for the first one, I am going to be making some holders for these Easter eggs that I made in a previous video, which I will have linked below. And I'm just going to be using these plastic eggs that you use to fill in an Easter basket. And I'm going to glue them. I'm going to use the taller one for the bottom and the shorter one for the top. And I am just gonna glue them and attach them using some hot glue. Now, there is a little trick to these. Even if it looks centered when you put it on, you wanna kind of keep turning the um, base around, making sure that it's not tilted and that it's on straight. Otherwise, you're gonna have um, egg cups that are kind of lopsided. Now, I also wanted to share that my friend Lisa over from Lisa Birmingham, she um, did this a couple different ways. She used twine, she used yarn, and she used raffia. So I will link to her channel below if you want to see some more inspiration. Now, I did about five of these before I really realized the best way to wrap the twine around these eggs. So I'm going to teach you the easiest way to do it. And... Um, you're gonna just have to trust me that this is the best way. You want to start in the middle with the twine and go up each side of the cup. So you're gonna do one side and then you're gonna go and start on the second side. And every once in a while, you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit of hot glue and you really wanna make sure that the twine doesn't leave gaps. You want them to be as close together as possible. Otherwise, you're gonna see the colors and I didn't wanna see the colors. Now that I finished the bottom portion, I am going to do the top half the exact same way, starting in the middle and winding my way up. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is that when you get to the top, even after you've covered the purple, you want to do one more row on top of that just to really be sure that there's none of the color showing through when your egg is sitting in the egg cup. And then I just take a lighter and I burn off all the, I guess you could say the hair from the twine. Now just be careful when you're doing this. Um, you just move the, um, the lighter back and forth and it just fizzes off the um, little hairy pieces. So I made six total egg cups in order to hold my Easter eggs. Now for our second DIY, you're going to need these speckled eggs that I made in another video, which I will have linked below. You're going to need this box from the Dollar Tree, some floral foam, some paint of your choice, um, some of these onion grass sprigs from the Dollar Tree, some clothespins, and a paintbrush. So to begin, I am just going to be painting on this Waverly Cashew chalk paint onto the base of the box. I will not be using the lid. Next, I am going to um, disassemble a whole bunch of clothespins and I am going to attach them kind of like a fence all along the box just using some hot glue. And then I am just going to paint them in the same color as the box, which is also one reason why the box just needed one quick coat. It's just as a case you could see through um, but again it only took one coat of paint to paint on the clothespins with this cashew paint Now 
now I'm just going to take some floral foam and I'm going to cut it to fit into the box. And I decided not to hot glue it in there because I like to reuse my floral foam. Um, I'm not sure if this will store well or not, so I'm just not gluing it in for now. And then I'm just going to start pulling apart this onion grass um, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put all the butterflies that are attached to it aside. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use them. But this is actually pretty easy to take apart. And then once you have it all apart, you just start putting it into the foam. And I did not glue any of this in again, um, but it did stay very easily in with no problem. I'm not worried about it coming out at all. And I really had no rhyme or reason here. I was just putting the grass in wherever it seemed fair. And now that all the grass is in, there are a lot of bare spots, so I am going to use some hot glue and some of the Dollar Tree moss and just fill it in so that it's completely covered. I just cut off the top portion so that it was a little bit shorter and now I'm just going to add in the egg picks that I painted and made over from the Dollar Tree. Now one thing I'm noticing as I put these in here that didn't even cross my mind when I was painting the eggs is that the sticks should have been painted green. So I may go back and paint the, um, the sticks green so that it blends in a little bit better. And here I am just playing with the idea of maybe adding butterflies to the garden, but I decided to just leave it plain. The bright colors aren't really in a lot of my um, Easter decor this year, so I'm not going to do it. So this is what it looks like, and while I love the way it is looking, um, there is just something missing on the bottom. It just seemed kind of plain, and I didn't like seeing the line where um, the clothespin line is not very even. So. I decided to go grab some of this Dollar Tree ribbon that I had, and I am just going to wrap it around the base. And I'm also going to add a little bow. I absolutely love this little egg garden and I am going to be displaying it in my bathroom. Now for 
the third DIY, I'm going to be using the Robin eggs that I made from the Dollar Tree, a styrofoam ball, some moss, and if you don't, if you, your Dollar Tree doesn't have a styrofoam ball, you could always use one of these little foam um, world globes that I found in the kids section. And I am just going to cut these styrofoam eggs in half. Now I am just going to hot glue these egg halves onto my styrofoam ball. I do pick out a little bit of the styrofoam in the middle just to kind of help it to lay a little bit um, nicer on the round ball. And no rhyme or reason here. Again, I'm just spacing it kind of the same distance apart and trying to put them in different directions. Next, I am just going to cut up this moss and I am going to be hot gluing the moss all in between the eggs. And I do like to use a little paintbrush when I'm doing this so that the um, glue gets everywhere instead of just, you know what I'm saying, instead of just where the hot glue is landing. I don't want streaks, but I want it everywhere covered. Now, you could just leave this ball the way it is. Um, I decided to try to put these little berries in there that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They were like little blue sparkly ones, but I didn't like it. Now, originally I was just gonna make these eggs as just decorative balls, and I decided to make it into a topiary. So I am going to take this Dollar Tree pot, some more floral foam, and I'm going to give it um, kind of an aged weathered look by dry brushing in some of this Waverly chalk paint as well as taking in a little bit of that cashew chalk paint that I was using earlier and I just kind of layered it until I got the look that I wanted. So here is the topiary, um, I just glued it into the floral foam, and now to cover the floral foam, I am going to hot glue some moss on top of it. Here is the finished topiary. I love it. Originally, um, like I said, I was just going to use it as a decorative ball, but I really like it as a topiary. Now for the final project, um, I made this home sign back on Valentine's Day, and I made it so that the oak would be interchangeable by season. So I am going to take one of these wooden ornaments, a couple sprigs of this peach pit berry and this cashew um, chalk paint, and I'm just going to give one coat of paint to the wooden egg. Now I will have a link down in the description box that can take you to the video where I made the home sign that was also a Dollar Tree DIY in case you want to make it. 
and for the spring Easter season I thought it would be cute to use an egg shape for the O. So I'm just going to give one coat of paint to this wooden egg. And then I just cut two sprigs of the pit berry and I'm going to wrap them around each other to make it a little bit thicker and then I just glue the ends together to make it one. And then once that's dry I am going to just wrap this around to frame the egg and also it covers up the hole. Let me know down in the comments which one of these DIYs was your favorite. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you're looking for some more Dollar Tree Spring DIYs, check out these videos here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.